Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl. I'm going to make a short video here. Nothing really to write home about, so just wanted to give you guys the information. As I see a lot of misinformation being poured out over there. Uh, yeah. They just want to make a video. Uh, anyways, uh, this is really out there. Uh, so right now, uh, there's a new update for the Nintendo Switch. I'm just going to let you guys know. Nothing really to write home about. Very quick video, just so you guys know. Uh, you know, there's uh, some button reassignments you could do to it or whatnot. Uh, there's absolutely nothing else. Uh, no folders, options, uh, anything we asked for. No themes, no, none of that. Uh, yes, there's data mining that was involved in this, just like there was and the PlayStation Vita uh, days when it first was released. And of course, uh, you know, nothing came to fruition. Uh, they're speaking about uh, on online about uh, two screens. Uh, if that's going to happen, obviously the Nintendo Switch is going to be much smaller in uh, design in order to accommodate that. I mean, could you imagine the Nintendo Switch screen as a double screen? How crazy that would be? Uh, I don't think that would be any way practical. And there's also another Switch uh, that they have been talking about this for a while, uh, which would hook up to the... Uh, this was in Japan, of course, uh, the one that just hooks up directly to the... Uh, TV. Uh, as I told you guys before, they did this uh, from a videos a long time uh, ago uh, that they did in Japan. Uh, Run-throughs, uh, especially hackers and stuff like that, have managed, uh, I mean, modders uh, have managed to get uh, certain things done. And basically what happened was uh, they came out with a only Nintendo Switch that was uh, to take portable, which eventually became the Mini here. Uh, and I said this a long time before uh, it was even spoken about. And I told you guys that, and uh, of course they're looking to do now a system that only hooks up to a video now i don't think there's uh any talks about this due to what's going on right now i can't even really speak to any of my contacts over there but i'm sure uh that this thing uh, will not be released here really quickly uh, especially now that there's uh maybe this is plans for a new one that'll come out somewhere in 2021 or uh late 2021 or even later uh something like that it might have uh you know a portability factor and also just strictly for uh direct two TVs. I don't think they would do that. I think that's the whole point of the Switch, the whole idea of you could switch between both unless they call it something else. Uh, I think they, this is going to be, uh, you know, a good or bad idea. We'll see where the hell this goes. But again, this is only due to data mining. So that and, you know, chitter chatter online. We don't know what's going to happen. But in a nutshell, that's all that the update is. It's pretty much they left some little scripts for data miners to see. But in terms of end users, uh, people who are just up updating it right now. Again, thank you, Nintendo, for not listening to us, uh, for releasing a useless update that just gives us button reassignments probably or whatnot i didn't even experiment with that i just was reading on uh you know certain uh, forums and stuff i looked at myself at the nintendo uh, at my switch and saw that there was no obviously uh phone uh, folder uh creations no uh custom themes none of that so nothing was really done and thank you nintendo again for not listening to your fans um whatever i'm waiting for this update and i think this is what encourages people to hack the nintendo switch is the fact that the hackers are doing a way better job than the developers over there now whether or not they want to hold this for another version of the nintendo switch or nintendo switch 2 or whatever the hell they call it uh that's debatable but this is just ridiculous that we have to wait this long i mean we're already in the final hurrah of, you know days of uh, the nintendo switch and until now they have not released an update that the fans were looking for custom folders custom themes all of that it's just another useless update anyways that's all i gotta say just a quick video have a good one y'all take care bye